So Paul, why did we start making these uh, connector kits? So the connector kits were simply put together for ease of use or calling out part numbers. Hi, I'm Patrick, this is Paul. Welcome to the ProX how-to videos on aluminum extrusion. This will be the connector video. Paul will now go into the connectors. Hi, I'm Paul. I've been with ProAx for three years and I head the mechanical group here at ProAx. So Paul, why did we start making these uh, connector kits? So the connector kits were simply put together for ease of use or calling out part numbers. So you know exactly what bolt and what T-nut goes with what, what gusset. Now the different gussets, for instance, where we're going to use them, when we talk about the 9090 gusset, this is a very high strength gusset meant for a corner and typically will require four nuts and T-nuts and that would go in a corner. It has the, the rigidity of the, the solid gusset across and that's going to give you your most strength. There are other ones too. We have the smaller profile, 4545. As you can see, there's a big difference in, in gap. The nice thing about this is that this gusset and this gusset and actually the straight L gusset are all going to use the same T-nut and T-screw, which is, or tap screw, which is the eight millimeter. The plate connector is also a different connector altogether that's going to join two pieces or allow you to add a piece of Lexan or extrusion to join the two. I'm going to ask Patrick to demonstrate inserting the gusset into the extrusion. So you take the gusset and you take the predetermined bolt and T-nut from the kit. You'd start the T-nut on the bolt just a little bit to make your life easier when you're putting it into the T-slot. Then you'd slot it into the P-slot extrusion just like that and you're good to go. Excellent. Now do you have to insert it from the end? Of course not. So you could angle your T-nut in the direction of the T-slot. You can slot it in from the top as well. Fantastic. So these wedges here, what are the point of these guys? Okay so the tabs, like on most of the gussets, the tabs are meant to keep it square. So it sits inside the groove. They're M10 or M8, keep everything square. So when you align your perpendicular piece, it sits absolutely at a 90. Okay. So what you can do as well with the gussets is you can break them off. They use a little needle nose plier or a little plier and you break them off. And the reason for that is if you're doing a 90-90 and you needed to put this in here, as you could see, the tabs do not sit within that groove, but you need to have this mounted this way. The tabs get broken off and then it sits this way. Paul, are there any other gussets that we could talk about right now? Absolutely. So we have the one that you just demonstrated, which is the 9090. This one is for the highest strength. Given the size, kind of makes sense. We go into the 4545, smaller gusset. It comes in the 4040, 3030. And all that is is the, the width of the extrusion. This is a smaller gusset, very strong as well. And depending on the application, uh, this would be used. And then we can go with the hideaway angle bracket or gusset, if you will. Uh, this, of course, is not as strong as this, but it's a little prettier. Uh, it's uh, the, the color of the aluminum, it's anodized, uh, looks very nice. And then we get into the plate connector, and the plate connector, uh, we won't demonstrate right now, Patrick, but it's basically to attach two pieces of extrusion together, such, uh, or it would be to attach uh, a piece of Lexan or plexiglass onto the extrusion. Mm -hmm. Thank you for explaining all those gussets, Paul. We hope to see you in the next video.